in one sense, we're going to begin and see where physics really began. And many people believe that physics began at this one moment when we began to study what is called motion. Because till then, it was not really physics in the way that we think about it. Physics or science was more philosophical. Aristotle would make up some theory as to this is a natural state of objects. And just because we can make it up and we can talk about it and just because it sounds good, it's true, right? It was assumed to be proved. This might sound very ridiculous to you right now, right? How can, it, how can we just take it to be like that? But it was the case until somebody called Galileo began to become what's called skeptic and say, okay, you're telling me certain things. Shall I try it out? Let's see if it works. And that many people believe was the official beginning of science in the way that we know it. Where when somebody says something or when somebody thinks something is true, in other words, you say, you know, the natural state of objects is to be in a state of rest, something like that. Then the fact that Galileo took it out there, tried it out in the real world and saw if it really works, was, according to many people, the official beginning of science. And one of the first things that he studied was what we're going to call motion or when something is moving. And one of the first things that we're going to try and understand is what is it that we mean when something is moving? Let's take a very simple definition, right? You're looking at something, you're continuing to see it. Great. You keep looking at it and if it's there, we say that it is at rest. Okay. But if you see it and after some time it's not there, or you look where is it and you turn your head and then it's there. And then you have to keep turning your head to make sure you keep seeing it. Then we say the body is moving. Sounds like a pretty trivial definition, right? but that's pretty much it. So if your head turns, it means it is moving. So one of the first questions we'll ask is that, how do you know when something is moving? And the simple answer is, if your head turns. That's one of the fundamental ways we see it. Great. But what if you're in, in a train, right? So who's really moving? You're in a train. There's somebody sitting right in front of you. Now you look at him. He's right there. You don't have to turn your head to keep seeing him. Of course, if somebody is, one case that we left out is somebody is moving away from you in a straight line. Then of course, you don't have to turn your head, but you still know that they're moving because they start becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Or if they're coming towards you, they become larger and larger and larger. And your intuition tells you it's not the person really growing so fast. So you kind of infer they must be coming closer to you. All this is based on intuition, right? As to what things move and what things don't. So if you're in the train, you see somebody, okay, they're not moving. But are they really not moving? Now, what does that question really mean? Because if somebody's standing outside, he's going to say, hey, hey, that guy is moving. But they're going to sit inside and say, oh, he's not moving. Okay, let's take one more example. You're, you're in a train and you look outside. What do you see? You see that the trees are whizzing past, the fields are whizzing past. You see them all moving, right? Are they moving? Or are they at rest? And you're the one who's moving. Or does that question even make any sense? Because if you look at it, if you're sitting here in the earth and you say, hey, this is all at rest. Because right now you look at me and you probably think that, you know, okay, this tablet is at rest. Everything is at rest, right? Ask an astronaut and he'll say something else. Because he's going to be out there and he's looking at the earth rotating really, really fast. How fast? The order of thousands of kilometers every hour. And he's going to say, oh, that person's moving really, really fast. Because even right now, we are moving really, really fast. So are we moving or are we not? It's a pretty difficult thing to measure. 